What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Friday. I hope you tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, for our live stream. We'll be talking about Jerry Jones, the GM, and should his ass been fired a long time ago. Um, <laughs> I know what the response to most of you guys will be is, yeah, buddy. But um, a couple days ago, I was talking about uh, Trayvon Diggs, who, you know, he's made it no secret that he wants to play with his brother. In fact, yesterday he was we saw an interview where he said, um, tweet out, tweet out Cowboys Nation for Jerry to go get Stefan. Well, you know, it's the Super Bowl week. We get a lot of players and stuff that are in town for, you know, different interviews and different events and stuff. A lot of business gets done during the Super Bowl. This is what Stefan said today. Let's check this out. The other day he said, we need Cowboys Nation to go and help and tweet to get bro here. We need everyone to know. I know. We need to put it on notice. We need to get bro to Dallas. Want, I always wanted to be with my brother. That's the thing. He knows that, though. So he's, he's, playing, on, he's playing on the heartstrings a little bit. And, you know, Cowboy Nation loves him so much. Do you like Cowboy Nation? I mean, I, it's weird because I grew up a, a Cowboys fan. You know, I followed the Cowboys because of my brother and all that. But I wasn't a fan of him when I first got in the league or nothing. But uh, I have a kind of a reason to root for him now. So you all talk about it a lot? All the time. together? All the time. It's, it's a goal of mine for sure. Does he? So he wants you to to come to the Cowboys. What would that yeah. be like playing with him? You think? It'd be fun. I mean, I feel like we talk a lot of shit, but you'll just see me, see us every day. Uh, my brother's like kind of like a quiet person, so he doesn't talk to too many people. So that's probably part of the reason why he wants me there, because he has probably like a couple friends. And, you know, do so. you see the the Kelsey brothers right now, and you're like, man, we we could do that. Yeah. Nah. I mean, in a perfect world, you know, he, I know he say it all the time. We'll be on the same team playing in the Super Bowl, but. You know, if anything, uh, we'll play against each other. If not, I'll take it any way I can get it. Yeah, do you think it's more likely y'all play together or against each other in the Super Bowl? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. The other day. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Uh, you know, we both have been talking about what. Okay, so before we had heard last year, Diggs basically saying, you know, I'd like to play with my brother and, and this, that, and the other, right? And, um, what was interesting about it was, you know, we had the feeling that, okay, does that mean he wants to go to Buffalo? Which they kind of left it out there. And, you know, knowing that, that, that he has to get a new contract because his brother already has one, that the, the thought was, okay, is are we talking about losing Diggs to, you know, Buffalo? But then we saw, of course, the blow up on the sidelines in the playoff with Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs. Now, let's keep in mind right now, um, Diggs signed a four-year extension worth $96 million in April of 22. So it's only been one year into that contract. The contract has $70 million guaranteed with $47 million in guaranteed at signing. Diggs received a $21 million signing bonus and his base salary of 22. And 22 and 22 or 23 are both fully guaranteed. So, and there is a guaranteed option bonus due in 23 worth 16. Diggs' 24 salary for injury will be fully guaranteed at the start of the league year. Diggs' cap number fell to $6.8 million in 22 as a result of the extension. So this was a deal that they kind of backloaded um, to get cap relief. So his cap number effectively was $11.7 million last year. This year's cap number, surprisingly, 23, is 20 point two. In 24, it's 26. In 25, it's 26. And in 20, uh, 26, it's 27. Now, for me, okay, you know, I'm just Joe the fan here, okay? I'm just Joe the fan um, that wants my team to do something bigger than what they've done. Now, the question would be is, you know, we were paying $21 million for Amari Cooper, right? With the Cowboys entertain giving up a number one and maybe something else to go get that guy i would say yes i would give up a first and a third easily for stefan Dix and pay the contract on there um i think that if you went to you know trayvon and said look bro 
we can try and make this move done, but you know, you can't, you know, like back up the Brinks truck. We need to be able to make this uh, a way that this works for all of us. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 just, I'm putting it out there hypothetically because, you know, as we sit here and we kill Dak Prescott and we say he's Kirk Cousins. Well, Kirk Cousins had that guy, right? He lost that guy and then he ended up getting Justin Jefferson. We lose Amari Cooper and we get Noah Brown. These things aren't equal. And if you want to compete and try and get that Super Bowl, we have to stop this penny pitch and bullshit of Jerry Jones saying, I'm looking for the long game. The long game has been a whole lot of money for you, not having really a down, down year. But for us, the fans who thirst to have a Super Bowl, it, it, it's not happening. It, it's, it's not happening. And if for nothing, you know, and, and this is where I'm talking about tonight is listening to the same broken record, like we're in this abusive relationship, you know, where, where the, where the person does something bad and then they, they always, Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I hope you forgive me. You know, I didn't mean it. It was just a one-time thing. And then you hear it again, and we hear it every off season. You know, Jerry Jones, the owner, needs to fire Jerry Jones, the GM. You know, you have a right to be mad and everything else. You know, uh, uh, I have to change. I must change. I will change. That's what he said last year. And our big free agent signings were James Washington, Ryan Null, and Dante Fowler. You want to be, you know, compared with the Eagles and, you know, the Rams and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and, and all that, you got to learn to play the game. You got to learn to play the game now with the modern rules. Things change and evolve. That's what we found out about Tom Landry. Tom Landry, the shotgun, the shift, the flex defense, all things that were innovations when they came out. Problem was, Everything else evolved. Things changed. And unfortunately, we didn't change with it. The West Coast offense came in. Boom. Did things to the flex. And this is where Jerry Jones is still thinking about, I got to control the cap and, and deal with the long game. And this, yeah, Jerry, you have not won during the cap. Since the cap came about, the cap has kicked your ass. So we got to start looking and saying, we got to compete with the other guys. We got to fight the same way. And this was Diggs yesterday with RJ. PaniniAmerica.net. Um, do you collect NFTs or, or any kind of Panini thing? Like, what, what, what do you well, have a let's collection? Let's skip a little further. Uh, as a cowboy. That makes sense. I mean, you know, that, that does make sense. Um, I told you I was asked to ask about your hat collection. Last time we chatted, I asked you, um, you had one. It's hat, getting to it. Hat. So I asked you about that. You said you uh, you like the hat and, you know, whatever. Um, how many hats do you think you own? That, this was something somebody told me to ask you. I uh, changed my hairstyle, so I don't think many hats could fit on these hats. <laughs> Talking about hats? All right, let's get to it. I got a braid head now. So do you I think that affects like your me. helmet? Like, I, yeah, I do wonder, would that affect your, are you, are you constantly like, man, now I got to put this helmet on. Like, I'm having a good hair day, and now I'm going to mess it all up. Literally, I used, to, I used to get my hair done all the time, but I got some time now so I can get my hair done, let my hair breathe, let it grow before we get back to camp and get sweaty and dirty and all that. So you know, I'm going to stick with my beanies, keep my hair wrapped up, and during the season, come back around and let my hair down. I'm going to have a new hat collection for you. We do this interview like we did last year. I love that. Um, I will make sure to put my pizza in the air. Well, I'm putting the oven tonight, and then tomorrow, the leftovers, I'm going to go to the air fryer. That's, I, I sell that as my own thing, like when people ask me for the tip, but I never give you... I, I, I rewound it too far. I'm sorry. Um, Trayvon, last one for you, but this is kind of one of those questions that you're really good at, at diffusing and not answering. Again, shout out to Coach Saban, of course. What is one question that you hope you don't have to answer anymore throughout the rest of the office? Um, 
Ah, you guys, whatever. I'm always. God. I'm you know? my guy, Trayvon Diggs. Look at you. Good at that, man. It's it really is impressive. That's that's a rare thing, uh, and I got to give you a lot of credit for that. And like you can give it to Coach Saban certainly, and I'm sure your brother and you know other corners you talked about reaching out to. But like you deserve a lot. It's hard. Not, I'm not, I'm not somebody who's trying to get you to bite on something, but like it's yeah. I got to do the thing, right? Like you got to do the thing. I got to come be like, so what's the contract like? What you yeah. the social media, whatever, blah blah. It's all part of the song and dance, but you know how that goes. Um, so well, Trayvon. Every Cowboys fan's rooting for you to get the bag and to be in this game this time next year. And then we can hear all the Kelsey stories again about you and your brother. If it's, well, even if it's yeah. Cowboys, because like you said, you're rooting for Stefan to be a Cowboy himself. Yeah. I'll, maybe you guys uh, should start a podcast. We need, like the, Cowboy the Nation. we need Cowboy Nation to go and help and tweet to get bro here. We need everyone to know. We need to put it on notice that we need your bro to Dallas. Okay, last thing. Um, just to be clear, you're, can you give that instruction? You're talking to Cowboys fans right now. You're telling them to tweet. Give them the instruction. Ready, set, go. Everybody tweet, let's get Steph on the dots. <laughs> All right. Trayvon Diggs has spoken. There you go. Diggs and Diggs want to get it together. Jerry, get her done. Let's make the Cowboy fans think that we're actually caring about what? we're going to do next year all right good people i'll see you in a bit peace